surprise surprise I'm here on a Sunday can you believe it um, the reason I'm here is because I got a couple of agendas one is I'm going to be doing the uh, tag by uh, Susie from Ruby Rose Reborns uh, which is to show your Bonnie Brown collection and so I'm going to be doing that and then I have some happy mail that came and I'd like to open that so we're going to start off uh, with my Micah. This is Micah Jaden, um, or as you would know him as the Levi Sculpt. Um, I tell you, I've, I have several Bonnie Browns in my doll collection, uh, but and I think she is an amazing, amazing artist. Uh, she won a big award at the Rose Doll Show this year for her accomplishments in sculpting and selling so many kits. I mean, she probably sells more kits than anybody. I don't know that to be totally true, but I would think she sells quite a bit. Um, but this is a Levi. Oh, and the reason I was telling you all that is that I don't collect, necessarily collect uh, dolls by the sculptor or a artist, but rather the ones that capture my heart. And uh, so I have four Bonnie Browns that have captured my heart. And uh, so I'm gonna show those to you today. But this is Micah, and like I said, he's a Levi sculpt. And I love this baby. I, I love everything about this baby. Um, okay, he's a beautiful sculpted baby. He is the epitome to me of a newborn. Um, first of all, these, these little legs, these adorable little curled up legs, I think is probably one of his, his biggest traits here. I'll take off his booties and so many of the babies that we have, you recognize them by their arms and legs. And, uh, the Levi sculpt is one of those because he has these beautiful little curled up legs that are so typical of newborns. Um, and these little curl over toes and these little splayed out toes. And it's funny because I have a, a picture of my little sister when she was just, just born, hours old. And uh, her feet looked just like this. She had one foot with all these splayed out toes and Micah's, all his toes on his uh, left foot are, well, the third and fourth toe are together, but the rest of them are all separated. That one little pinky toe is sticking out there. And then the, the toes on his right foot are all curled up tight. And my sisters look just like that, both of them. They're so cute. And another thing that I like about him, and you can, his hair's a little wet because he was wearing bonnets, <laughs> and his, he had hat hair bad. But on the top of his head, he has a little soft spot. And I doubt that you'll be able to see that on camera, but it's right here. You can feel the little indention in his head uh, where the bones have not quite grown together. And I just love that about him. And of course, this little tucked up lip. I'm gonna turn this light on and see if y'all can see him a little better. He looks a little grainy. Is that better? Okay, now that makes him look like he's shiny, but he's not really shiny. But um, anyway, that tucked up lip, that little tucked under lip looks so cute. And a little double chin. And at first, now he's got these long slender fingers, which are typical little babies. But I, at first, I didn't really particularly like this hand. But since I've gotten him, and I thought I'm not going to let just the shape of one hand keep me from getting this sculpt. And I didn't. And... Now that I have him, I love the shape of this hand. It's almost like it curls around your hand, or it will curl around a bottle or a toy. Uh, sometimes he shields himself, his little eyes from the light with it. And I've actually come to love this little hand. And then, of course, his right hand is in a um, semi-closed fist. But this 
I don't know. There's something about the way he moves. Um, just he is just your the epitome to me of a little um, newborn. And my daughter used to sleep just like this, exactly like this. As a matter of fact, um, I had all C-sections. And when I came out of the uh, recovery room, they took me by the nursery so that I could see her. And she was sleeping just like this, only she had, she was just like this. Her head face down. And I told them, I, you know, no motion for the nurse to turn her head. And she did, so she turned her head like this. And while I was standing there watching her, she turned it right back again, <laughs> just like that. I don't know what it was, but she liked to sleep just like that. And she would, when she woke up, she had little red circles on both of her knees, both of her elbows, her forehead, and her chin from sleeping just like this. But anyway, that is... Oh, he can get all tucked up anyway. Oh, I just love this baby. I love to cuddle him. Uh, he went with me to Utah, and he was just the hit of the whole airport and everywhere we went. He's just such a cute, cute little baby. So that is uh, one of my Bonnie Brown. This one is also Bonnie Brown. This is a Sassia Sculpt, and this happens to be my little Kai, Kai Paxton. And uh, he is a very very popular sculpt of Bonnie Brown's because of the shape of his hands number one he has this little pointy finger here which Kai uses to stick in his mouth in his ears <laughs> that's his dialing finger when he uh, calls uh, his brother Joseph over in England and Suzanne's babies is his mommy um, and then he has this this little drawn up fist right here with that uh, index finger sticking up a little bit, almost like he's signing the letter T. And uh, just, he's the first edition. And I know now that I've seen the difference in the first and the second editions. The second edition has a little bit rounder, wider eyes than this one. But look at that face. I mean, just look at that face. That is just the most beautiful little face to me. And I absolutely fell in love with this baby. The first time I saw him, I fell in love with it. And actually, I think it was um, uh, Joseph from Suzanne's Babies that I, I saw for the first time. And I just thought, that is the most darling baby I've ever seen. And, of course, he's got the typical of Saskia, the one bent leg and the one straight leg, which are really, really cute, too. As y'all know, Kai has to have these bells on his shoes because he likes to untie his shoes. But that is the Saskia sculpt from Bonnie Brown. I just love the way his little tongue is stuck up there and that little open mouth. He is just beautiful. Excellent. All right, let's go on. Okay, next we have the little Charlemagne sculpt. And um, I may not have told y'all when I was talking about Saskia, uh, but Kai was my second baby. My first baby was the silicone Layla uh, by Tasha Edenholm. And then my second baby was Kai because I just absolutely fell in love with him. He was my first vinyl um, kit. And Layla was my first silicone first baby. And then this is Natalie Claire. And uh, she is the Charlemagne sculpt. And I saw... The first time I saw the Charlemagne sculpt on, um, I think it was eBay, there was a little uh, little one being sold. Oh my gosh, I fell in love. Oh, I fell in love. I mean, look at that little pudding lip right there. Look at that little pudding. Yeah, she was so cute. But um, there was a little Charlemagne sculpt, and uh, she was on auction on eBay. And I was, um, oh, I wanted that baby so bad. And I bid on her. Well, my dog had to go to the vet. She was having knee surgery, so we had to take her in there. And the auction ended while I was there at the vet, and I did not get to, to finish my bidding, and I lost her. And I was so upset. I was just really upset, because this, I mean, she is so beautiful. That little face, now, some people think she looks like 
she's put out or something. I don't see it that way or like she's sad or something like that. But I don't see that. I see her as being very um, uh, contemplative and uh, just sort of pondering things and stuff. I don't think she looks sad at all to me. I don't think she looks sad. No, I don't. But I love this little bottom lip. That is just, that just cinched it for me. And both of her hands are uh, pretty open. She's got, her right hand is, is all the way open, as if she was saying hi. And then her left hand, uh, her fingers are bent slightly more, but there's still an open hand. And like Saskia, she has this, oops, let me back up a little bit. Down. She has one bent leg and one straight leg. So, since I lost that auction, you say, well, how do you come to have a little Charlemagne? And that is because of Alexandra from Alexandra's Babies. I called her or emailed her in such a tizzy because I lost that one and said, do you have this kit? It just so happened, and I just think this is fate, guys, that... She had just seen a kit for sale, and she bought it for me. So um, this was uh, my little Natalie Claire, and she was made by Alexandra from Alexandra's Babies, and I couldn't be more happy. As a matter of fact, I think she's prettier than the one I saw on eBay. No, I know she's prettier than the one I saw on eBay. Because the one on eBay had some really heavy, heavy eyebrows. And uh, this one, Natalie, does not. Okay. Now, I'm, as you've seen, I'm going from my biggest, my smallest to my biggest. I have one more. Okay, and this is my last one, and this is the Liam Kit by Bonnie Brown. And she is my biggest Bonnie Brown baby. She's so big, I can't get her all in the camera, even if I back up a little bit. It's hard to get her all in. But she is the Liam Skulls, and this is my little Hannah Faith. And... This baby, um, I don't know, it's something about Bonnie Brown babies, you just sort of, they grow on you. And uh, I thought this was a cute baby, but didn't think that it was right for me. But the more I saw her, and most of them I see are boys, but the more I saw it, the more I fell in love with it. And then I realized that little expression she has, that little slack jaw expression with her mouth hanging open that is my daughter that is so my daughter when she was little and even as she was growing up as a matter of fact we have a Wii video game and uh you can make your own little avatars and my daughter's avatar has that little slack jaw <laughs> expression it's so cute <laughs> but um this is my uh, latest baby and uh, i am just totally in love with her um she has hope you can see this can I have your baby honey she can hold her toys she has a little <laughs> honey let go thank you um her right hand her right arm and uh, is bent like at a 90 degree angle and she has um an open hand that's sort of like in a grasping grasping position and so she can't actually hold on to things including mommy's hand and then her other arm, her left arm, is straighter, almost straight. And uh, the fingers are together on this hand. And she's just sort of like got a little cup-shaped hand right there. Not as uh, closed as the other one. It's more open. But the fingers are together. This one's a little bit more closed, but the fingers are separate. And uh, she has two bent chubby legs, as you can see there. And a huge, massive head. As a matter of fact, my husband lovingly calls her big-headed Hannah. <laughs> but, uh, and she has very thick, thick, thick hair, which makes her head look even bigger. But she has a very prominent forehead there sticking out. Um, but she is just a beautiful little toddler baby, and I'm thrilled with her. And I absolutely adore and love that little drop jaw expression she's got there so yeah so those are get micah and here's little micah with his big sister hannah <laughs> so there we have hannah and micah and natalie and kai 
and those are my they are my Bonnie Brown collection babies and I adore each and every one of them okay so I'm gonna put you on pause a minute and come back and we're gonna have a happy mail of the month okay I don't think I told y'all that um, I had the honor and pleasure of actually meeting and talking to Bonnie Brown at the Rose Doll Show and she actually seems kind of quite shy um, but she's just a lovely lady to talk to very helpful as a matter of fact I almost bought a Liam kit from her right then and there she had one at the show and I almost bought it I had picked him up and was holding him but my skills are not advanced enough to take on a baby like that so I opted not to but then I found this one in the uh, Hannah and just fell in love Okay, so I have Happy Mail here, and uh, I'm so excited. I got this yesterday, but we were gone all day, and I did not have a chance to get to video it, so I've been dying to open it. just got home from church a little while ago. But it kind of got a little um, damaged on route. I don't know what in the world. almost looks like we had mice going after it, doesn't it? <laughs> but um, I felt inside like this. I haven't opened it yet, but I felt inside, and... Things seem to be pretty much intact, so I'm hoping that's not going to have affected anything inside. But I have uh, all these butterflies all over it, so maybe you know that this is from my darling dear friend Suzanne from Suzanne's Babies. And I'm going to open this now. Hang on, I don't want you to have to watch me do that. Okay, so I've just opened the end of it. I haven't taken anything out. Um, Suzanne was quick to tell me that these are just things she thought I would like. Um, almost like she was trying to get me not to get my hopes up about anything. But let me tell y'all. You could send me a burnt match and I would be grateful. It's because you take the time, you think about me, you take the time to wrap, to purchase it, wrap it up box it up send it off and that just means the world to me so um i don't care what is in here i know i love it anyway just because of the thought behind it <clears throat> so we're going to open all this up oh my goodness there's quite a few things here and we have a card it says holly it has two little beautiful butterflies on them so yeah um i don't if you wonder why um i'm kind of sound kind of softer than i usually do is because my husband is here and i don't usually like to do videos when he's here so I'm keeping it kind of down look at that beautiful card the green card it's got blue butterflies and pink roses and gold roses and a gilded cage that pretty <laughs> um, she is apologizing for it being late for Christmas, but um, she has nothing to apologize for because I haven't sent her Christmas off yet either. <laughs> so I'm going to just dig right in. Here we have a beautiful pink tissue paper with pretty flowers, orange and white and green and pink all over it. And I'm a ripper and a terror. Oh my gosh. You lied to me. You said it wasn't anything. Look at this. Look at this. A newborn size. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, it's a little um, deep pink colored uh, knitted top. And it's got little brown beige. I love the way this knit ending rolls up like that. It's got a, a little beige knit um, edging around the bottom. And around the ends of the long sleeves and it's got a pretty little frilly collar around it that's got little flowers all over it and it buttons down the back Suzanne this is nursery time and then look at these darling little pants little bloomers and they're knitted they have ruffles around the uh, the knitted ruffles around the leg holes and little beige pom-poms and that is adorable Oh my goodness, nothing. You're nuts, Suzanne, that is sweet. I love it. Okay, let's see, oh, this is kind of hard. Let's see what this is. This is stripe paper 
all the different colored stripes blues reds greens yellows grays black and oh bless her oh this is the gruffalo suzanne had sent me some happy mail um earlier in the year or not well not too long ago a few months ago and a couple of the outfits were gruffalo outfits and i had never seen the gruffalo book or anything so that's what she said oh that is so sweet you know what i may have to read that to you guys so everybody else knows what the gruffalo is thank you suzanne look hannah you wear a gruffalo dress there's a gruffalo book and here's another one in the same pink floral paper oh Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh my goodness. There are two little knitted outfits in here that I have to think that these must be for Meadow Heather. Look how precious. This is a red knitted hat. It's got the flat back and then it's got white around it and around the edging. And it ties with a little white satin ribbon. Look. And look, it's got little red and white booties. Red and white. Oh, I hope y'all see this. I'm not paying attention. And this beautiful little red dress. It's got a, a white um, trim around and around the bottom of it, right above the little flared, roughly skirt. Oh, my God. oh I had it in the back. That's the back. And that's the front, and it's got um, a little white bow on the front. Oh, Suzanne, thank Heather, look. He says, little meadow Heather, and this poor child, she doesn't have any clothes, do you? So I had just a couple outfits, and that's all. But look what Auntie Suzanne sent you. <gasps> that's going to be so cute. I guess that's for you. It's either for you or for Aaron, and we'll see which one it fits the best. Oh, thank you, Suzanne. This may look really sweet. I don't know. Erin's feet are big. Her feet would never fit that. I don't think. Let's see. So here's Erin. Nope. Her feet are that much longer. So this is definitely going to be for Meadow Heather. Sorry, Erin. <laughs> Oh, but that is so sweet. Thank you, Suzanne, so much. And then she has a little pink one here. And I figured this was probably for Meadow Heather because the little bonnet is so tiny. So tiny. I'm so thrilled. I can't believe she probably has a couple outfits. And here's, it's the same kind of design. We got, uh, well, the hat's different. It's more like a skull cap. And it's pink. And then the little pink booties. Oh my gosh, they're so cute, so tiny. And then the little dress is pink. It's the same type dress, but it's in pink. Oh, thank you, Suzanne, so much. You lied to me. You said it wasn't anything in here. Oh. And then here's another in a stripe. The same stripes before. <gasps> Look at this. Suzanne wants me to make some baby clothes. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, three. This one comes in three sizes. Look at all the different outfits we have for have like pajamas, uh, long rompers, or I guess y'all would call those dungarees, and a bonnet. Then there's a little um, dress and little leggings. And this one has a coat and a bonnet. A dress underneath. Here's a, a little, like a little slip or or in pants. Another little dress and bonnet. And then this one. It's got all those different outfits. So um, I think I'm gonna have to be making some doll clothes, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Suzanne. Oh my goodness! Now she's gonna make me use my sewing skills. And then this one was open a little bit, but hopefully inside it'll be all right. 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Suzanne, did you make this? Oh my gosh, look at that. Okay, this is a pink jacket. And I don't know if it's crochet. I think it might be crocheted. No, or knit. no it's knitted. I, Suzanne, I don't know if you made this or not. <laughs> but whoever made it, it is beautiful. It's this little pink jacket, and it's actually kind of a flare jacket. And it's got these buttons all the way down the front that said Handmade with Love. There's four buttons down the front. And then it's got a hood with little bunny ears. <laughs> Look at that bunny ears. Oh, that is adorable. Thank you so much. Oh, my gosh. I wonder who that will fit. That Natalie can wear that. That is so cute. Well, I don't know. Natalie may be too big. But we're going to try it and see who it can fit. Thank you, Suzanne. And one more. I can't believe what she has done. Oh, jeez. Oh, my goodness. Sarah Louise. Can you believe this? Look at that beautiful Sarah Louise dress. It is black and gray and white. And it has... Watch this, ladies. Smocking across the front. And all these little, um, what do you call those? Uh, see, there's a misterm, but I, I've never been able to pronounce it. I would just call them like um, rhinestones, but they're like diamondettes or diamondettes, something like that. They look like little diamonds anyway, all across the front. And it's just a uh, white dress that's got gray and black flowers. Beautiful Peter Pan collar, like. Um, tiered. It's like little, it's like three of them and they're kind of connected. I don't know how to describe that. And it's Sarah Louise and it's a size 12 months. Hannah can wear that and um, Ellen can wear that and you know, you never know, maybe even Presley. So that is beautiful. Long sleeves. Look at the smocking goes from the shoulders all the way down to the, uh, all the way through the bodice. And then turn it over in the back and it's got a belt that comes back and buttons in the back and then it buttons down again. So that is absolutely stunning. <gasps> oh, Suzanne, you are too much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, I love you so much. Thank you for my gifts. You are so sweet. Although you fib, you are so sweet. <laughs> Thank you. I love every everything. Look at this. We have the little pink jacket, bunny hood jacket, the Sarah Louise dress, the Gruffalo book, two patterns that have multi patterns within them, and then two little outfits for Meadow Heather, red and pink. And then this darling little uh, deep pink um, little eye uh, set. That is fabulous. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. We Oh, I love you, I love you. And all the babies love you. And we send our love. And hope you all have a great rest of your weekend. Love you all. Bye-bye.